Uh, hello Year 11s. So I'm hoping to keep this video um, very brief. Um, there's not a, a huge amount of content that I'm covering, um, but we're just looking at uh, tissues, organs, and organ systems um, in this video. So the dot point from the study design um, is the specialization and organization of animal cells um, into tissues, organs, and uh, systems with specific functions, the digestive, endocrine, and excretory systems being the ones they pulled out for us. Um, but today we're, we're not focusing on actual those any of these actual systems. Um, we're just focus, focusing on, um, I guess, that specialization and organization of the cells into tissues, organs, and organ systems. Um, so our learning intentions are to understand uh, how humans and other um, complex multicellular organisms um, have systems of organs that work together uh, and they carry out processes that work to keep us alive, uh, such as digestion or excretion, um, and that the body has levels of organization that build on top of each other. So we'll, we'll sort of look at how cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, uh, and organs make up organ systems. So our success criteria um, for this video is that you can describe the four types of tissues in mammals uh, and then you can also uh, describe how systems of organized so organ systems are, are um, put together uh, to keep us alive and how they work together. So straight into it, there are four types of um, tissues in mammals um, and a tissues, uh, it's a, the definition of a tissue um, is a, a group of cells that act together to perform a common function. So they don't have to be the exact same cell, uh, but it's a group of cells that are acting together um, to perform the same function. Now, um, there are four types of tissues that we find in mammals. Uh, your mammals are four types of tissues that you have. Um, the first is this epithelial tissue. Um, so epithelial tissue are these sort of sheets of cells that cover internal and external surfaces. surfaces excuse me. Um, so your epidermis, so your skin, um, that would be an example of epithelial tissue or perhaps the lining in your digestive system. Uh, we also have muscle tissue. Um, so this is tissue that's able to, or groups of cells that are able to contract to help you move. Um, obviously, we've got uh, muscle tissue in our heart, cardiac muscles. Um, we've got smooth muscles around our um, organs, and we've got skeletal muscle tissue um, that is the, I guess, the, the visible muscles, the ones that um, attach to bones and help us to move. Um, we also have this stuff here called connective tissue, and connective tissue is sort of, it's almost like a bit of a catch-all category um, for like um, all sorts of structural support and energy storage tissue. So things like cartilage is connective tissue, your bones, um, adipose tissue, so fat storage, um, that all falls under the heading of connective tissue. Uh, and then finally, the fourth um, type is nervous tissue. And obviously this would be your nerve cells, um, so your brain and your spinal cord. Um, and a good way just to remember uh, these four types of tissues in mammals is to think every child needs milk. So you can see I've highlighted uh, in red the every child, E for epithelial, child for um, connective, N for nervous, M for muscle. So every child needs milk. Um, and a way to remember that that's in mammals one of the defining features of mammals is that they have milk. Um, so quick picture, just showing you where you might find some of the, these types of tissues. So obviously our, here's our, our nervous tissue in the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves that are spread throughout the body, our epithelial tissue, um, the skin, like I mentioned, the um, lining of our digestive system, our gastrointestinal tract. We've got our muscle tissue here, um, skeletal, cardiac, in the heart, only in the heart and our smooth muscle around our organs. Um, and then we've got our connective tissue, so fat, um, padding, tendons, bone, cartilage, uh, all of those extra tissues. And now, so looking at organs, um, an organ is a, a group of different tissues uh, working together to make a discrete structure um, that achieves the same function. So this uh, picture here on the right is um, uh, the small intestine. And it will demonstrate how those four tissues actually work together to form an organ. So tissues build on top of each other, they work together, and tissues work together to form an organ. 
Um, so we can see we've got some connective tissue um, um, uh, around giving us a little bit of a padding around the intestine. We've got some epithelial tissue here that's forming that sheet of cells forming the lining in the inside of the intestine. Um, we have some nervous tissue here, so the intest the um, so the small intestine has a, a series of nerves running through it that carry impulses and messages and signals. And then we've got some um, smooth muscle tissue here around the organs that are, would be helping them to contract and push food down. So all of those four types of tissues um, are all working together to achieve the same function, and that makes them into an organ. And now those organs um, work together to form organ systems. So you should be very familiar with this after year eight and year nine. Um, but we've got the respiratory system. So we've got our nasal passage, our trachea, our lungs, discrete organs, but they work together uh, in organ systems to help us stay alive. Uh, and in the other example, the cardiovascular system made of all the blood vessels that are running through your body and your heart. Um, and these organ systems, like these two, actually, as a perfect example, they work together. So we use our respiratory system to breathe in, um, and we use our cardiovascular system to um, take that oxygen that we've breathed in with the respir respiratory system to all the um, surrounding tissues and cells in our body. Okay, so last slide, um, just because we have really been sort of human focused, um, we're looking at a flatworm in this picture here. Um, animals do also have organ systems. Um, humans are very complex, so we have particularly complex organ systems. Um, but in this uh, example of the flatworm, from flatworm uh, we can see it has a nervous system, so it does have a large central nerve. Um, it does have a small, uh, a small brain. In the digestive system, it has a digestive tract. Um, it is in the unfortunate situation of having a mouth and anus in the same location, um, but this flatworm will, similar to how humans are um, using a digestive tract, this flatworm has a similar system, although it's just a lot less complex. Uh, and I've taken out just like a, a microscopic view of what the flatworm is, so something that you couldn't see with the naked eye, um, but even though it's this small, it does still have systems, o although there are other animals who have much, much more simple systems than the flatworm. Uh, and some species of um, uh, single-celled organisms would not even have these digestive systems.